Yeah, we're going to keep the theme of water going and keep this conversation flowing right now because this morning we're going to be diving into an incredible conversation with Michelle Weber, the South African Olympic swimmer and ambassador for the Waterfront Canal Challenge. I'm talking about swimming royalty right now, people. And this weekend, Africa's only timed urban canal swim takes place at the VNA Waterfront's Battery Park on Saturday, the 6th of April, 2024. It's happening very soon and it's an event that puts the spotlight on inclusivity, it promotes well being and it supports at risk youths and uh, it's time to find out more about this incredible event michelle how are you doing this morning i'm good thank you Thanks yeah for having me. it's an absolute pleasure and honor to have you in the studio you've done such incredible things when it comes to swimming which we'll talk about in just a bit but firstly congratulations obviously being an ambassador of the canal swim that's a, a great honor and i think it's a great association you being of swimming royalty like i mentioned but talk to me about this event why is it important why do we think that uh, people should get involved in the event as well um i think you know Firstly, the venue is incredible. The waterfront hosts some amazing events yeah. and, you know, shoppers and tourism that happens there. But I think also the community, bringing all the swimmers together and the waterfront Rotary, they are always about community and they always support, um, you know, their various charities. So I think it's just, it's it's awesome to be a part of it and always an honor. And, you know, the, the waterfront Rotary guys are just the most incredible people that I've ever worked with. So I always love coming back to them every year. I can imagine. I can see the excitement on your face because I'm thinking, what an iconic venue, especially for spectators because often it is, like we were discussing off air now, the fact that you see the start and the finish, but you don't get to see the race itself. So this means that you might be able to get quite close in on the action, right? Yeah, I mean, I know, I remember the first year, so my aunt and uncle were there, and then they, I, I was swimming, obviously, and they, were, they weren't swimming. <laughs> <laughs> they were running up and down along the side, like supporting and cheering me on, so that was so great. So I think for families and, um, yeah, for spectators, it's so great, like, to watch your kids or watch your dad or your aunts um, swim the one mile. And, I mean, I think, it's, I think it's such a challenge for so many people. So, you know, having your friends and family and bringing them along is just awesome as well. I can imagine that for many people, this is like a bucket list swim, so they're going to need that support to get them across the finish line as well. Not everyone's pee being like you every race that they get into. But on top of this, everybody seems to be able to get an opportunity to be a part of this, especially when it comes to para-athletes as well. I believe there's an opportunity for para-athletes to partake as well as their guides. So this is involving inclusivity, allowing so many more people to be a part of this. Does this excite you as well? You love seeing yeah. this type of thing in the races? 100%. I haven't seen something like this before. So I think having the para swimmers have their own wave is just, or their own event is just incredible as well. Um, I definitely can't wait to watch it and cheer them on. Um, but I mean, I'm not surprised that like the Rochi would do something like that and I mean I'm just yeah, excited to excited to witness it and <laughs> maybe I'll swim along with them and I think it'll be lots of fun. I'm sure it will. I mean someone from you coming from the stature and the abilities that you do have and let's make mention now and not forget you're still the record holder for that English Channel swim right for South Africa yeah. I believe. Yeah. So actually we need to put our hands together for this one. <laughs> Royalty in the making still an unbeaten record. I want to say cheers to that. <laughs> that is absolutely incredible stuff. Do you use a race like this to kind of prepare you for bigger events or do you kind of separate every event and take it as it comes? Um, I think I think a little bit of both. I think the waterfront um, canal challenge is awesome because of the temperature. Um, quite similar. It's not as is I don't it think cold? It, it's not. I don't think it's as cold as the English Channel, but I mean it's quite. I mean I guess it's still the Cape waters, so it's probably going to be a little chilly. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I think like in that regard, I think it's it's great. Also to be with like foster swimmers and race against them, um, just to make sure like my speed is still there and I've got a bit of a kick and everything. Um, but then also I like taking each race as its own. I think every swim is so unique and so special, and I think in South Africa we're so lucky to have all these beautiful places that we can swim. Yeah. Um, sometimes a wetsuit is definitely needed, but I mean, <laughs> it's just so awesome to experience like all these different uh, different events and different communities and different environments, and everything has every event has its own special aspects. Um, so for this weekend again, it's just it's special to have the community involved and to have the different projects in involved and I think that's I think that's what makes this one so unique and special yeah and, and on top of that it's not just the swimming that's happening but it's the impact that's surrounding the event too I believe there's a lot of opportunities especially like the waterfront canal challenge where they are aiming to raise funds for projects that support at-risk youths uh, I think this is in incredible I think it's important to firstly expose everybody to the sport but also to have impact like this why do you think this is important 
You know, I think South Africa is so unique that we have our, our diversities and our mm. different challenges. And I think, you know, um, having people come together and support one another is just one of the most incredible things. And I think that's probably why I love sports so much, because that's probably one of the key things that can bring it all together. Um, so, I mean, love that it's for the youth, love that it's for our community, love it's for um, just for different people from different walks of lives. And I love that we can bring sport together and just make a little bit of a difference. Oh, Michelle, I couldn't actually have said it better. You can <laughs> drop the mic right there with those bars. But again, thank you so much for coming through, for giving us a reason to be a part of this incredible event taking place this weekend, right? The 6th of April. So if you fancy yourself a swimmer, maybe you want to take on some of SA's royalty, see how you go head to head, then definitely get involved in that event happening this weekend. It's the 6th of April. Obviously, you'll see some incredible swimming royalty like Michelle, but of course, it's all about the family, about the Chiesa making memories. So why don't you do exactly that, Michelle? Thank you so much. We'll thank see you there. You. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs>